Scotch Test Dummies with Scott and Bart. Hey, Scotch Test Dummies, I'm Scott. Bart here. We got his balconies froke. Froke, like something frog might say. About said French oak, but it's froke. <laughs> it's called froke with a little period in there. We're going to test it! Texas style. Woo, I knew that's where you were going. Lone Star State. Yeah. <laughs> last time we are we're gonna start filming some reviews at my uh my studio your studio my studio we're, sure. gonna, we're gonna spread the wealth a right little bit here right i told bart i said i'm tired of driving over to your house all the time he was all negative about it hateful <laughs> so he said you want me to come over i said yep he said i ain't doing it no nope, not gonna happen <laughs> yeah, and then i'm over here anyway he put me in a half <laughs> nelson <laughs> Uh, balconies. So this is, it's aged in French oak, but it's called yeah. Froak. Look how dark that is. It's like, I know, it looks awesome. It looks like maple syrup. What's our ABV? Ooh, single malt, Texas single malt, 61.9. Woo, 61.9. Froak, FR period oak, French oak, Texas single malt, pot distilled whiskey. Uh, I do see it says on the back, aged at least 36 months. Wow. So it's at least three years old. Mm. The secret is good with Texas. Right. Um, Look at that. Texas, parts of Texas get so Ooh, hot. And this whiskey, is Waco. Whiskey ages yeah. fast. Waco, Texas. Uh, a five, six, seven-year-old Texas whiskey. Uh, is there any left in the barrel? That's the question. <laughs> yeah. There's I a do. point where they better get it out, or you it all went to the angels. All of it. To the angels. 2020 Survivor Coins available on our website. And not safe for work. Enough said. We'll talk about merch later. <laughs> so uh, Disclaimer as well, still. Uh, I have not recovered from COVID. I still have mild taste and mild smell. Uh, not complete. So hashtag, Trust Bart. Hashtag trust Bart. <laughs> we need a shirt. Boy, that burns wow. the nose. See, it doesn't burn my nose, but it, well, it's like a thick molasses with the touches of barrel char, yet like a flower, like a little bit of a floral scent as well, kind of in the background. I get I get a rich whiskey, but I can't tell you what is making it rich. I mean, it's... So this is weird because it's a cross thing. But you know how when you get that velvety feel on the side of your cheeks, it has a velvety smell. But I don't know. <laughs> That's weird. That's like an acid trip. <laughs> it's got a velvety smell. Kind of like your velvet mouth feel. Gosh, I don't know, but it's all those things I just said. That richness in the nose just comes through with a touch of barrel char is what I get in there. Oh, all right, I got to sip it. This is another one that's getting the mouth flowing. Wow. Yeah, I took just a little sip. Again, I can kind of hold the whiskey in my mouth and, and breathe through my nose and kind of let it pass over. I get a lot of that Texas Balcones character it rich darker, almost a burnt caramel mm -hmm. type smell and taste with it. Mouthfeel as well. It's yeah. very saturating. It is. Little bits of, uh, of chocolate. Um, lots of chocolate there. I kind of at the very forefront, it was again kind mm -hmm. of a floral kind of taste with a sagebrush burntness in the, in the middle. I just got a bunch of cherry Coca Cola. Mm -hmm. In the finish, I was right up front. Really, I get it. A finish when it's I was still lingering. When I was just breathing over it. Yeah, I it's a it. cherry Coca Cola right on. Yeah, with that cola kind of mouthfeel even. 
Yeah. And That's again, I got a hint of the sage sagebrush that we'll get yeah, with it from the Texas heat. Yeah, not overpowering like some. Some of the balconies have had the sagebrush is almost on the forefront, not here, but it's there. It's that it's like a rustic sagebrush. I like this new technique of just holding the whiskey in my mouth and breathing over it. That's actually working pretty good. Good technique. It's always good. You know. <laughs> mm. I'm trying it. Mm. What would a what would like a chocolate bark? I know there's like vanilla bark that you make can candy with. Mm. What's a what would a chocolate bark be? That's what it kind of reminds me of. Mm. I would I would put the bark first. Uh, barco chocolate. Barco. But you might have to say it's Spanish chocolate. Uh, barco chocolate. <laughs> Water. Sure. Healthy dropper. Oh, yeah, healthy. Open that up. This thing's got some power. Yeah, what's amazing though is I'm still getting like a fruity influence in here as well. Like a um, cherry. Yeah, yeah, but it's like a a, a cold, juicy cherry influence. Mm, like a like a lot of juice. It's been in the fridge. So this is this is also kind of a special release. I believe it's they've done this. I don't know several different releases of the mm -hmm. throat. Um, it's not a core range bottling. It's not always available. Uh, it's around the, and I don't know if it says on there like what batch of throat this is. How dark that is. Oh, it's amazing. I know. I'm just telling you, there's no light getting through For there. For a three-year-old whiskey. Yeah. For a minimum three-year-old whiskey. Yeah, at least 36 months in oak. Never chill filtered or colored. No need. No need. And is this a single malt? Yeah. It is. Yeah. Okay, yep. Yep, Texas single malt. That's what's, again, the American, or in this case, Texas, although it fits American, the Texas single malt or the American single malts come out. Balcones is all over the forefront of that. What? Question. Do it. What yeast strain do they use? <laughs> I don't get her out of there. I don't know either. Yeah. That's kind we of got, We had a rag comment come in because we didn't <laughs> know on a review yeah. what yeast strain was used in a whiskey. Okay. We don't. I really don't care. Things. Yeah, I don't care. I mean, I'm not saying they they could not have some involvement. I know they do. And then we got bagged on because we d didn't do some research. Right. We don't. That's mm -hmm. not us. We not don't known. Wanna... Not known for the research. You know what the research I do? In my glass. That's right. That's right. what we're emphasize. We... I did say glass. <laughs> we want you to know <laughs> right. if this whiskey is good. Yes, right? what we think of it. And that's it. Not what I know of the yeast strain. If you like right. those things, you can go look that up. Probably. And there's plenty of other YouTube yeah. channels that yeah. will inform you of yeah. those particular yeah. items. Yeast, We're not one yeast of them. Alpha stream, yeast stream Alpha 1927 <laughs> is yeah. is good in this. Yeah. No, it's more like this is the, the chocolate berry yeast strain from 42 <laughs> in the Eastern Hemisphere. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Sounds like a botanical grower I once knew. <laughs> um, this I can tell, boy, I'm, and I'm sure you'll take this one home with you. When my taste buds return, I will be hitting this up on yeah, your bar so I can good. get the, I've got the my, full impact. Of I've got my Balcona's collection, and this one wants to join his brother. So he's like, please, let me come visit my cousins. I'm like, you can stay a while. Please come over. That is nice. It's got a very nice mouthfeel for my muted palate. You know what's going I, on? I think probably one of the most stunning things is that it does not feel like it's 61.9%. Like it feels just so smooth that I would have pegged this blind, I think, at like 53. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, even on my palate, um, it does not feel like it's that high. Uh, and even I mean, the nose doesn't shock me. Anymore. It's got a little oomph to it, it but does. it doesn't feel like it's over 60. Uh uh. Boy, is that something. And I got a feeling this is one I think as we as it drains down and that oxygen gets in, I think it's going to get more and more flavorful as well. Um, um, 90. I'm right in an 89 or 90. Um, I, I don't know. It's just, it's right in there. I, like, I think there's going to be even more bursting flavor in the future as this opens up a little yeah, bit more. Yeah, that could be too. Yeah. So. Kill the yeast beast. <laughs> wow. 
Kill it. Kill it. Kill it. Ooh. Uh, no, I can tell this one's got a very nice palate. It's very rich. It's very saturating. Nice, nice mouthfeel to it. I'm getting some of those notes, which is pretty good for a, for a muted palate. Mm -hmm. And like I said, I really look forward to uh, trying this one when all the senses are full strength. It's good. I think uh, uh, what caught me off guard here is I actually thought it was even going to be a little more sweet, but it gives me a little bit more floral. And uh, and I still like it's like a semi chocolatey feel. It's not like a sweet milk chocolate, but delicious. Um, merch. You can get burnt staves with 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 branded logos on it. That's one of my favorite accessories, actually, the angel share. We use it the shit. most. I thought it was too fancy dancy at first. Yeah, I was like, come on, yeah. man. But the one thing I like is precise dilution, actually, because sometimes I want just a drop. And when I'm playing with the whiskey, it works really good. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, you can use a straw. You can go to scotchtestdummies.com and check out our merchandise. <laughs> yes. You can go see that. Go look at the merch side. Look you at know what? Hats. We have got hats. a $10 to hats. $10 Ooh. Patreon supporter. Wow. Look at that. I see the name. Carlos Cor Correa. 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 All right. We got um, so we're going to give you a shout out, Carlos. Now you can also send us a picture and we'll put you, put it in a future show if you want to. Hashtag. Cover the pickle. That's all you got to do. Minimum. Or you got to have them. We're not going to post. Pickles. We're not going to post any yeah. pictures with exposed burritos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or no two cans. <laughs> <laughs> Car ready? Right. Carlos Correa! You, so Patreon, you can just go to patreon.com, look up Scotch Test Dummies, you'll see it. Now, some people have questions because we have you pledging an X amount per show. So if you did $5 and we did 10 shows, that's a lot of money. But you can cap it at $10 if you want, or you yeah. can cap it at $20. You can, yeah. you can do a dollar, cap it at a dollar. Yep. So please come on over. Um, I think we, uh, we we lost a few patrons just uh, in hiatus. We uh, uh October. I got COVID. We haven't been doing any filming. We did a little in bit, March, but it was uh, off, off, not together. New, yeah, solo. We finally figured, hey, we need to start filming reviews again, mm -hmm. even though I'm the muted palette and all, and it's uh, coming get back, some, get it's some stuff back. posted. So if you like but. the show, um, we don't give you a car or anything if you sign up for a dollar a month. Um, we don't give giveaways. Quite honestly, we'll do the shout outs. But it's if you like the show, what we're doing, that's really how you can let us know you like uh, what you're watching and you'd like to see more. We use those funds to purchase bottles. So sometimes bottles are sent, but we also use it to purchase bottles, lighting and whatnot. Anything else? I just noticed we were Whoa. talking about what batch this was. It oh. is noted right there. Froke 19-1 is the batch number. Right on the back. You're uh, right. Bottle Froke. May of 19. Wow. So, yeah, Froke 19-1 was this yeah, match number. 5.30 of 19. Nice. Froke 19-1. I, like I like the name. That's it. Scotch it. You. Scotch Gods. Broke it. You Scotch Gods. <laughs> Solange. Dummies. Dummies.